All right, here I am, big girl job. There's a lot of people here today and it's very busy here. I'm just sitting in here daydreaming about what I wanna do and where I wanna be and all that stuff. And I got my cards out because I feel like there's a message coming. So hold please. All right, so before I leave, read this message for you guys from your guides, my guides, universe at large, I want you to know I will never reach out and DM you for reading. If someone does that, it's probably not me. If you want a reading with me, we're gonna be face to face so you can see my face. And the only way to book a reading with me is through my link tree, so check it out. But I digress. Here's all the cards and let's get to the reading. All right, my guides, your guides, universe at large, what they're saying is yes, absolutely, you are going through a big transformative process. And while we go through that, it can be really rocky. It takes some time. Your divine feminine comes out telling me that during this time, you've got to focus on yourself and what you know you need to feel better. If that means taking a sick day, if that means permitting, if that means eating junk food, whatever it is that you need to do to help yourself feel better, especially in the next few coming days, it's going to be very important. Please listen to your intuition and follow that intuition. Um, also, keep in mind, your divine masculine is going to be very inflamed right now. That's because you are in a state of transformation and your energy sort of shrink wraps around you in a state of protection. Your sword is raised, ready to charge anyone who comes after you. This makes people very reactionary to other people. Keep that in mind. When someone says something to you and your first reaction is to jump down their throat, give yourself permission to take a step back and, and just wait a minute before you respond as the veil is becoming thinner and thinner for you me and everybody <coughs> hear that throat kicking in it's going to be important for you to advocate for yourself and what you know you need this goes along with the idea of doing something for yourself to feel your to feed your inner divine your inner feminine make sure you're paying attention to that you've got to advocate for yourself this is a time for kindness especially towards yourself don't put any hard goals on yourself don't say i have to meditate today instead i want you to say i'd like the opportunity to meditate today put that out there it's a very different very lighter feeling than saying i have to do something today as you're working through this and going forward, grounding is going to be very important because this helps pull out dense energy that's been stuck in your system for a while. You can do this by standing barefoot on the grass, putting your hands on a tree, being near or in running natural water, rivers, streams, lakes, oceans, especially oceans. All of this is a great way to help cleanse your energy by grounding. And as you do that, there's clarity coming through. I know you've been asking a lot of questions and you're a little concerned about everything. You don't know what's going on. You feel out of place and stuff's just fucking weird right now, but that's okay. It's normal as part of an awakening. That's where you are, friend. Welcome to your awakening. Um, I would just want you to know it does get better and it evens out, but it takes time and reflection and looking at yourself. And um, keep in mind that meditation is anything that gives you that sense of flow. So if you're an artist, painting is meditation. If you're someone who likes to run, jogging is a meditation. If you're someone who likes to... Um, just sit outside, that's a meditation. You don't have to try to tell your brain that's very, very busy to calm down and be quiet because that's nearly impossible for 95% of us. So as you're learning to meditate, as you're learning to work with your energy, tap into guided meditations. Reiki Rachel on YouTube is a huge help. Or you know, listen to music without words. That's another way of meditating. There's a hundred different ways. Find a way that speaks to you and helps your mind to be calm and go with it. Meditation is not about receiving big, giant, holy shit ideas. It's about receiving little, tiny, oh, that's what I would do ideas right so keep a little notebook near you or something so that you can write down these ideas as you come to you you don't need to like push yourself through the meditation if you get an idea write it down go back that's what it's for as always have a beautiful day